Josh Fiber Arts, and we're going to talk a little bit today about weak wool or um, wool that's breaking. And a lot of you have said that you're getting nips in your bats and you think it's the carter. Well, it's not your carter. It's most likely your wool. So there's nothing more that I, there's nothing more than I really dislike is when I put a wool aside that I bought and then I open it and check the staple strength and find out that it's tearing. So not only is this fiber tearing along the length, it's tearing, I mean down the middle, it's tearing along the whole length of this fiber. So I take small sections because this is, um, when it goes through your carter or um, anywhere else, it's going to go in small sections, right? So why should I test a big section? Let's test this one and see. So it's breaking right in half. The top is, the top is also breaking. So when this, if this is tearing fairly easily and I'm putting it through a carter, so I'm putting it through metal, metal pins that are um, causing a lot of force on it, this is going to break it. So, and I'm not, I mean, for me, it's not like super hard to break. I'm not that strong. So it would be a fairly easy break. If you put this through a picker, it is going to tear this up. And not because the fiber is um, is fine, it's because the fiber is weak. Even though with pickers, if you put through finer fibers, and I'm, I'm kind of finding that fibers that are below about a 25 or 30 micron, those are the ones that um, it's going to eat up. Let's see how that's tearing apart. You might be able to put this through um, some wool cards and sort of save it, but then you're, you're making a weak yarn. So um, you have a weak yarn, it may pill more. So anyway, that's what's happening. It's just tearing along the whole staple. This is very, very frustrating when I get fiber like this and... Um, you know, sometimes you'll get fiber that'll break at the tip, and that is uh, might be because it's a lamb or because the sheep was um, lambing, having a baby, and that will cause some of the fiber to break, or it becomes actually becomes thinner, so it'll break. You know, and sometimes that's just the way it is with fiber, and as a fiber artist, you need to figure out what is the best way to process this fiber in the way it breaks. Like I have a fiber that breaks right down the middle. So if it breaks down the middle and I have a staple this long, if it breaks down the middle, I may up and end up with a two and a half inch, very sound um, staple length. You could put that through your carter and it'll be just fine. If the tips break off, you're going to flick them first and just break off those little tips and the rest of the, um, the staple is sound. But this one is breaking all along the staple. This is good for pretty much nothing. So anyway, I just wanted to show you what um, it looks like when it breaks along the whole staple, <laughs> what you can do with it. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Bye.